Now let us look at the question number 5 in NTA UGC NET 2019. Now every year they ask one, one question from C programming which is actually very interesting question. Again I must tell you last year also they have asked very good question based on union. And this year also this question is very interesting because if you have very good knowledge of C programming then only you will be able to give uh, the correct answer to this question. Let me explain you uh, what this question is saying and how and why this question is interesting. So first of all they are giving considering the following C code fragment running on a 32 bit x86 machine and this is the structure of S I mean they are giving a definition of the structure S and now they are performing some operations on this structure S. Now let me tell you what do you mean by this 32 bit x86 machine. So here because they are giving it as a 32 bit machine that means here the word size is going to be 4 bytes and if it is a 64 bit machine that means the word size is going to be 8 bytes. Now what is the difference uh, how it does it create the difference see if you you create a structure like this struct maybe uh, name of the structure maybe let us suppose uh, x some random structure uh, some random name I have given. I'm taking two variables here we have integer a and we have character b now if you see in this uh, 32 bit machine in c programming this integer is of two bytes and this character here it is of one byte but if you try to find what is the size of this x of this struct s x agar aap iska size if you will try to find out the size of this structure x so the size will return as 4 byte even though if you try to find the size of C it is going to be 1 byte the size of this A I mean this C is a character size of A, a is an integer it is going to be 2 bytes but still the size of this structure is going to be 4 bytes the reason is that it returns the block size in this specific case even if you do something like this if you create struct Y and if you have integer A if you have character B and you have character C. Now even if you try to find the size of Y here so size of Y will again it will be 4 bytes it will not be 6 or 8 bytes. Here also it will return the size as 4 bytes and here also it will return the size as 4 bytes because for convenient purposes it returns the size which is uh, equivalent to this word size which is of 32 so this is the proof of whatever I have explained. So as you can see here I have taken two structures here. The first structure is having an integer variable and a character variable and the second structure is having an integer variable and uh, two character variables here. So what you can do here is uh, you can see that this is a 64 bit machine. It is not a 32 bit machine. It is a 64 bit machine. Therefore the word size is, size is going to be 8. Here the size of integer is 4 bytes so this is of 4 bytes and if you see the size of character here this is of only 1 byte but if you try to find the size of this structure s it is going to be 8 bytes because at the word size so if you see if I print this value so this is going to be 4 bytes this is going to return us only 1 byte this is going to return us 8 bytes as well as this is also going to return us 8 bytes. If you execute it, execute compile and run and you can see here after compile and run mm, it's going to yeah so after compile and run as you can see this value so let me just change it so that zoom in up so that you can view it properly. So if you see the value here which it is returning is 4 byte size of integer is 4 byte size of character is 1 byte size of structure s is 8 bytes size of structure p is also 8 byte so it is returning these values and because this it is returning these values because 8 byte is a size is the word side of, of, on this machine because it is a 64 bit machine that is why this concept is available on this particular question what I will do is for this specific purpose if some of you might I mean definitely say some of you that uh, this concept might not be correct so I'm going to uh, embed the link of an article uh, regarding this 
uh, on this video itself if you go to the description of the videos or maybe the comment section you can find the link of that article where you can find why the size of this will be four bytes rather than you know three bytes so now if you clearly see this structure in this structure here we have a union so in union we take only uh, one character one of them because which one will be bigger i mean to which we have stored the value and here we are taking a character fine so if you take the union as a short if you take the short value so this will be two bytes and if you take character c so character c will be again one byte but still the size they have taken for this structure is going to be 32 bits because that is the property here because of this machine is x 32 bit so it returns the four bytes as a size now let us try to solve this question based to this now uh, what i'll do is i will embed the link uh, of whatever i'm ex have explained i'm going to embed the link in the comment section as well as in the description section you can have a look at it you can read it if you get satisfied you can comment below okay this is going to be helpful for other students also now let me explain you this program line by line so in this first they are giving uh, we have taken an array b and this b array is of type structure s and structure s is containing union as well as this character c so because it is having 10 index locations i'm going to create something like this an array which is having a total of 10 index locations 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so these are total you can see 10 index locations and they are saying the size of the structure is 32 bits or you can say 4 bytes therefore every location here is going to be 4 bytes this is going to be 4 bytes this location is going to be 4 bytes this location is going to be 4 bytes in the same way every location is going to take 4 bytes of space what do you mean by that is if the base address of first location is 1000 so address of the next location will be 1004 this address will be 1008 this address will be 1012 this will be 1016 this will be 1020 this will be 1024 it will be 1028 it will be 1032 and this address will be 1036 and it is divided into two parts the first part is for this union u and the second part is for this character c and we have taken the array which is capital b now in the next line they are doing s star p is equal to m percent b of 4 so that means p is a pointer and i'm going to go to the fourth index location here this is the fourth index location and because i'm using m percent that means i'm going to take the address of this fourth index location and i'm going to store the address in the pointer p so you can see this p pointer is storing 1016 now next we have done s star q is equal to m percent b of 5 now here you can clearly see that uh, in this case again b of 5 this address location is having a value 1020 so this pointer q is going to store the value 1020 now we are asking p is equal to sorry p arrow u dot b is equal to 0 x 1 2 3 4 if you remember it i i already told you whenever we start a number by 0 x that means this number is in hexadecimal so i'm storing this value from uh, in this short value because b part is a short value so i'm storing this hexadecimal value here so this will be converted to a decimal value so if you see uh, this p is pointing to this location and q is pointing to this location and this is the u uh, union u and here in the union u i'm storing this value one 2, 3, 4 in hexadecimal. So that means this hexadecimal will be converted to a decimal value. Okay. So you can clearly see I'm using a short here rather than a character. Now they are asking let m is the value of q minus p. So here q minus p. What is this q minus p? The value of q is 1020 and the value of p is 1016. 16. So if you do 1020 minus 1016, this is going to give us a value 1. Why? Because when you subtract the addresses, they are subtracting, subtracted in a scalar value. I mean to say, if you do p is equal to p plus 1, so if the value of p was 1016, so p plus 1 is going to make it as 1020. Or if you do p 
is equal to p plus 3. So this value of p will become 1016 plus 3 into 4 because it is the scalar value is 4. So you can clearly see whenever you increment the value of a pointer, it is incremented by a scalar value. And whenever you subtract them, you return it, it returns a scalar value again. So here the scalar value that will be returned will just 1. So you can clearly see the value of m is going to be 1. Now if you see the next statement here, so let us elaborate this next statement. Here they are saying p arrow c. Okay. So p is pointed to this 1016 location and this is a short value. The short is of size 2 bytes. Therefore, this c it will be having the address which is 1018. Okay. So p arrow c this address here it is 1018 and here we are doing type casting type casting so that means this 1018 address is now changed to an integer value earlier it was an address now it is changed to an integer value okay in the same way when you see this p p is a pointer which is storing value 1016 and this 1016 is again changed to an integer value. Remember here they have not changed to an integer value. They are subtracting addresses. But here they are subtracting integer values. So if you do this statement. So it says 1018 minus 1016. Where 1018 is an integer value. 1016 is an integer value. So this is going to be 2. So correct answer to this question is 1 comma 2. The value of m is 1. And the value of n is 2. So correct answer is option number 3. So this question is very interesting because uh, to solve this kind of question you should have very good knowledge of C programming and we have already solved these kind of questions in our courses in uh, uh, for UGC net computer science examination okay so anyways you can find I'll, I'll embed a link of an article maybe or I'll write some text in the comment section of the article so that uh, this will be helpful for you to understand this question okay let us look at the question number six after this